Hello student, I hope that you are doing just fine. So for today's lesson, we are going to discuss about gerund and infinitive. So without further ado, please get a pen and paper with you and let's get started. To begin with, we have objectives. So the objectives of, these, of this lesson is we will learn what a gerund is, we will know the definition of it, and same with infinitive, we are going to learn the definition also or what is infinitive and we will learn how to use them in a sentence and at the same time we will be able to identify them in a sentence so okay so that's about it and let's right jump right in with what is a gerund so when we say gerund it is a form of a verb that actually ends in ing that is used as a noun so it looks like a verb but it acts like a noun so um, if you see a gerund, you would first think that this is a verb or this might be a verb, but it's, you can only say that its form is looking like a verb or its, its form is a verb, but actually the usage of it is actually a noun. Um, or I mean, the usage could be, you know, like in different parts of a sentence. So but definitely it acts like a noun. For example, here, for example, the word swimming is an example of a gerund, okay? So swimming, you can go like swimming is a verb. It's a um, progressive form of a verb, like a continuous verb. But actually we can use the word swimming in a sentence as a noun, not just as a verb, um, but we can use it as a noun to refer to the act of moving around in water as in, swimming is fun so in this sentence swimming is not um, a verb it was not used as a verb but it was used definitely as a noun so even if it looks like a verb but it is it, it was used as a noun okay for example here we have reading helps students learn english so um the gerund here is the verb with ing but the, in, in this sentence, reading is not used as a verb. It is used as a noun or as a subject, okay? All right, so next number two, he enjoys reading for English class. So enjoys reading. So basically enjoys is the verb here and um, reading would be an object, but Again, it's acting like a noun. But in this, in this um, number, in this sentence, he enjoys reading for an English class. It is an object. So object answers the question, what? What does he enjoy? He enjoys reading. Okay, number three, her hobbies include reading. So reading here is a complement to, to what? To the noun hobbies so it's a subjective complement and um yeah that's what it is in this sense so um the purpose of this lesson is yeah you have to learn what is a gerund and the form of it is like verb plus ing but the usage or it was used as a noun so that's what it is but in this given examples we, they're, they're all used as nouns, but and different parts like subject here, is, um, it was an object and here um, a complement. So that, that's what it is. Um, let's proceed to infinitive. So what is infinitive? When we say infinitive, it usually begins with the word to and is followed by the base form of a verb, which is the simple form of the verb that you would find in the dictionary. Examples of infinitives include to read, to run, to jump, to play, to sing, to laugh, to cry, to eat, and to go. So, but basically you can just say read, run, jump, play, sing, laugh, cry, eat, and go. They're called, they're, they're verbs. But if you add the word to, um, it will be an infinitive. So let's take a look at the given example. Okay, so here, number one is to travel is exciting. So to travel is actually an infinitive. 
um, because of the word to plus the verb. It's infinitive. But here in this sentence, it was used as a subject. It wasn't used as a verb because here verb is, I would say, is the linking verb. And exciting would be, um, I would say, yeah, kind of a gerund as well. Yeah, excite plus ing. Okay, so it was used as a complement to the subject to travel, which is infinitive. Okay, number two, Henry wants to study English. Okay, Henry wants to study English. So the infinitive here is to study. Okay, again, when you say an object, it answers to the question what. So what does Henry want? So Henry wants to study English. That was that. That's why it's infinitive, and he wants a better job to earn more money. Okay, so here, um, to earn is a complement. Okay, complement to um, the situation like he wants a better job. Okay, so um, there are just two things that I want you to. Remember with our lesson today, um, the form of a gerund, you know, because I think uh, most of the ESL students, when they see like a verb with ing, um, they automatically think that it is actually a verb. But um, that's not always the case. Um, in this lesson, I want you to add to your knowledge that. Um, there is also what we call a gerund. Gerund is actually a verb with ing that acts as a noun, okay, or like a noun. It's not always um, like verb ing, then that's a progressive verb. No, not always like that. Also here with infinitive, um, yeah, you can, you can say that it's a verb to play, to sing, to laugh, but it's um, mainly when you add the word to, it's called an infinitive. And um, yeah, it's not just a base form of the verb, but it's actually called, called infinitive. So that's what it is here. Um, let's see if you have, um, if you have um, kind of like grasped the idea of gerund and infinitive. So you have here um, sample exercise, just um, answer it and see if you make it or see if you were able to understand it. Mm -hmm. And um, you can comment your answer, answer down below and I'll try to check it and see if you actually have understood. So yeah, um, that's gonna be it. And thank you so much for watching. And um, in Isaiah 55, 11, <clears throat> it says there, so is my word that goes out from my mouth, it will not return to me empty. So yeah, I think that's about it for our lesson today. Um, just don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. Goodbye.